do, please modify for yourself. Let's uh, meet seated. And just take a moment to uh, ground through your pelvis. You might move anything out of the way behind you so that you can kind of feel your sitting bones sending roots down into the earth. I'm up on a little support. You can be right on the ground or find yourself on something that's comfortable and supportive. As we arrive, feel yourself rooting downward through the pelvis, the legs and the feet. And just imagine energy dropping down. As a matter of fact, you could take your hands, palms face down, and just draw the energy down, 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 down in your body, down through your physical body into your energetic body, down into the earth's body. And then a little invitation, palms face up to draw the energy up. And you might notice an inhale coming as you, as you bring that in. <clears throat> and we'll take that a couple times. So on exhale, the palms face down. It's like a coffee plunger, plunging down the coffee grounds, down to the bottom. And then inhale, rising that energy up. And my invitation here is to get longer through your spine. So as you press down, let your spine lengthen down from your middle. And as you inhale and rise up, let your spine get longer from maybe even the base or the middle up. So you're pulling yourself like taffy in two directions. And there's both energy rising and energy grounding. And on your next exhale, take your fingers just above your uh, pubic bone and see if you can invite a deep squeeze in there. So see what that feels like. See if you can even make that happen for yourself. Um, just notice the activity that happens down at the very base of your belly, underneath your belly button. And if you squeeze in there, notice what happens to that grounding energy, to the rising energy, to the space all the way 360 around this low belly area. And then just let that go. Maybe you come back to it throughout um, this, this work. We're gonna do a little bit with the neck. So see if you can incorporate the low belly into a lengthening practice. And we're gonna just start to circle the head. Ah, oh, so your head may not go all the way around in this sort of almost 360 motion. If it does and it feels good, let that happen. And be particularly cautious about lifting your chin up. So make sure it feels okay for you. And if it doesn't, just take a partial circle. It might just be um, from one collarbone to the next, more in a 180. And when you're ready, you shift directions. And I encourage you to pause at any places that feel like they need a little extra time or space or breath. Still having that awareness of energy rising and energy grounding. Perhaps a little bit of awareness of that deep low belly. <clears throat> we'll do a little more with that in a moment. And let's meet with the left ear toward the left shoulder. And let, take your left hand to your right ear and invite in a little more pull for the right side neck. And then walk your fingertips out and away from your body. And you might even alight your hand off the ground. And just breathe into this space, into this stretch. Internally and externally rotating the arm at the shoulder blade. <clears throat> Big breaths, energy up, energy down, a little squeeze of the deep low belly if that's there for you. A circle out for that right shoulder. And a gentle tuck to the chin, just shifting the weight, the angle of pull for the neck. Let your elbow come into the movement and your fit, fingers and wrists dingle. Ah, take another breath. And then release the head, swoop the right arm across over toward the left. 
round through the outer right hip and stretch through the whole right side. Let your eyes look up and down, releasing that neck a bit. And then invite in a big wide circle with your right arm all the way around you. And let this movement, imagine your arm started at your right hip and you've got this movement happening all the way through that right side. Circle in both directions. Let your eyes move with this, your head. Ah, feel the freedom for the shoulder blade. One more round. And then we'll hug around in the center, right arm on top of left, shoulders drop and chin and chin drops toward the chest. Chest lifts up toward the chin, back of the neck opens. Big hug, big space between the shoulder blades. Feeling that energy rising and grounding. The squeezing of the low belly if that action is there for you. Take one more breath here. Circle out those elbows, rising your head back to a neutral. So the elbows are stacked and you're circling and circle in the other direction. Let your head go easy, not frozen in space. <sighs> Take a breath and release. We're gonna switch the cross of the legs, lean back on the hands, lift the legs and switch the, the cross so the other leg is in front and on top. And we'll circle out the head again. Reconnecting to that length in both directions to a deep low belly squeeze, especially on exhale. Circle the head in both directions. And as you are ready, we will meet with the right ear toward the right shoulder. Ah, hello, hello. And let the right hand come to the left ear, adding some weight, adding a little more stretch. Left fingertips walk away with grace and a light off the mat and invite in a little internal and external rotation for that arm from the shoulder blade. Invite in more deep breath if you've forgotten. Invite in more space and length. Do you need more grounding or do you need more lighting up? And let's circle out that right shoulder and tuck the chin just a little bit to change the angle of pull for the neck. Relax and release the jaw as is possible. Open the mouth a little bit. Take some size out the mouth. And then let's take a big circle and, and sorry, um, a big stretch over left side. Reaches across over to the right. And the eyes look up and down, so you get a release after that stretch. Left hip grounds, outer hip. And then bring that into a big wide circle, big wide circle all the way around you. And let that movement invite in, movement through the head and the torso and the breath. Circle in both directions. Notice places that your body doesn't move. Sometimes you can feel into that with this kind of action. One more big wide circle round. And we'll meet with the right elbow, uh, sorry, the left elbow on top of the right. Head comes back to neutral. Give yourself a big hug. Open up the shoulder blades, drop the chin toward the chest, back of the neck, space open, spine is long. Breath is deep, shoulders are dropping. Come into a circle through the elbows. Head comes back to neutral. Circle in the other direction. <sighs> and let's release all of this and make our way to lying on our backs. If you have a block, please uh, find it and squeeze it between your inner thighs. Give that block a squeeze way down toward where the um, pelvis is. So the block comes all the way down to the pelvis in between the legs and squeeze that block with your inner thighs. If you don't have a block, no worries. Feel the four corners of each foot on the ground. Your feet are about hip width apart and we're gonna round in. So the pubic bone draws toward the belly button and the nose and the chin tucks and you've got this length for the back of the spine and a squeeze of that deep low belly, a squeeze of the inner thighs, and then release and come to a neutral space, your low back, 
just finds a little more softness, a little more lift up off the mat. That's your inhale phase. And we'll take this just three more times. So on exhale, lengthen out your low back, draw your pubic bone, hook bone toward your nose, release your chin toward your chest. The whole back line gets longer and the belly squeezes down as the inner thighs squeeze that block or squeeze together. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You might find a little activation for the backs of the legs. Next breath, just soften, release everything. Head, pelvis, belly, take a breath. Two more times, squeeze inner thighs, low belly. Back gets long, chin tucks. Big exhale, see if you can empty everything out and activate as best you can that deep low belly. And release, soften, just maybe even a little squirm movement. Two more, it's, it's intense. There's very subtle movement, lots happening. Squeeze the block, draw the pubic bone toward the belly button or the nose, tuck the chin. Squeeze down, 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 the belly down toward the ground. <sighs> Empty all your air out. And release, softening the belly, the low back. Maybe a, a little more movement comes. And last one. So pubic bone toward nose. Find your center line again. Squeeze the inner thighs. Tuck the chin. Lengthen the low back, the low, the back of the neck and the low belly. Sorry, the low back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. See what's possible. Keep that squeeze. Lift the legs off the ground. Squeeze the block. <clears throat> Drop the belly down. Lengthen the low back. Just hold here for five, four. Squeeze the block. Drop the low belly down. Three. You might engage the pelvic floor also. Two. One more breath. And let's release that block and find your way up to seated and make your way to all fours and just lengthen out one leg and then the other. Just release that action, that movement. We'll curl the toes under and rise our way up to downward facing dog. Walk your feet as wide as the mat. Walk the hands as wide as the mat. Lift your hips high and just spread out. So we were just squeezing in. So a little counter pose here. Legs are widening, grounded to the outer edges of the feet. Activate the outer legs. Roll the inner elbows forward, take a breath. And walk your legs to hip width apart and just bend one knee and then the other and walk this out. See if you can reactivate that low belly. If you like, if it worked nicely for you, you can just take a few moments to squeeze the block between the thighs and just see how that feels in down dog one of my favorite things to do. It might help you activate the low belly. And this is something you can revisit all the time in the yoga practice. Forward bends, downward facing dog, squeezing the block. Take another breath here. If you have the block, keep it and come on forward to high plank, inhale. Squeeze that block, heels draw back, crown of head draws forward. Exhale, squeeze the block, hips rise. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. One more round, inhale forward, high plank. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward, high plank. If you've got the block, keep it squeezed as you lower all the way down to the belly. You can keep the block where it is and lift the legs and reach the arms back and interlace your fingers if it feels good for you. Engage through the chest, broaden through the collarbones, drop your shoulders down your back, squeeze your glutes and your legs, maybe the block if you've got it there. Lift a little higher if you can, and then bring your feet down and hands by ribs and rise your way up. Block can stay right where it is. Lift your chest, arms could be bent or straight. Squeeze your glutes, maybe block, maybe legs. One more breath. And exhale, press high plank. Maybe the block's still there. Exhale, squeeze the block, downward facing dog. Give your head a nod, yes. And just take a moment to notice what you're saying yes to in your practice today. And then shake out no. 
and notice what you might be saying no to in your practice today. If you had the block there, let's release it nice and gently. And let's launch the right leg up to the sky. Circle out your right ankle in both directions. Ah. Stack your right hip over your left, bend your right knee and roll your hip open. Press your right foot towards your left shoulder. And step your right foot forward to the front of the mat. Straighten both legs out. Find blocks if you have them. Walk your right foot all the way over toward the left side of the mat. And then walk your left foot all the way over toward the right side of your mat. And you're squeezing your inner thighs. So, and that might engage that low belly. It's definitely gonna lower uh, lengthen the low back. We'll walk with the blocks over to the right side and pull back through your outer left hip. Squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze the block. Take a couple breaths here, really engaging your inner thighs, your pelvic floor, the deep low belly. Take one more breath. And let's walk on back, hands back to center, right foot moves back over to the right, left foot moves back over to the left, and find a lunge, bending into the right knee, dropping your left knee down gently to the ground, sink through your hips, lift through your heart, opening the front of the left thigh, you might even feel a nice stretch for the low belly and the low back. If it feels okay, launch your arms to the sky, sink in, look up, Take a moment and we'll fly standing split. You might take your blocks with you. Left leg launches to the sky, head bows heavy. See what feels right and good in your body. Find your edge and your play, <clears throat> maybe your balance, your strength. Certainly a big stretch to the back of the right leg. Lift your left leg a little bit higher and bow your head a little deeper. One more breath. Let's step back strong, high plank. And chaturanga this time, just hover above the ground. Squeeze that low belly, lengthen your tailbone. Hips drop, heart lifts, upward facing dog, open collarbones, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breath in and a sigh out, a nod, yes. A reconnection to your low belly. And a shake out, no. Launch your left leg up to the sky, circling out your left ankle in both directions. Stack your left hip over your right. Bend your left knee and roll that hip open. Enjoy, enjoy. And we'll go ahead and step your left foot forward and straighten both legs behind your blocks. Walk your left foot over to the right side of the mat and walk your right foot over to the left. And you're gonna squeeze those inner thighs. Engage the adductors, the big muscles on the inner sides of your legs. This will engage your pelvic floor. And see if you can connect to your low belly and lengthen through your low back. Walk your hands over to the left on blocks if you've got them. Pull back through your outer right hip. Engage that low belly couple breaths here. Maybe a little movement for the head and neck, just checking in. A release for the jaw, a squee re squeeze to the inner thighs. One more breath. And walk on back through center. Left foot moves back over to the left. Right foot moves back over to the right. Bend into your left knee <clears throat> and dip down into your right knee, dropping into the earth with your energy as well as rising up. Scoop in that low belly if you've got it and launch your arms high to the sky. Drop your shoulders, lift your gaze. Take a breath, re-engage deep low belly and we'll fly our way into our standing split. Right leg flows to the sky, head bows. Ah, courage to lift that right leg higher. Courage to drop your head out of it. Come into the strength of your deep low belly if it's there for you. And we'll step back strong, high plank. Again, low push up, chaturanga, just hover, hover, hover. Engage the low belly, lengthen out your low back and tail. Find your way to back bend of your choice. Heart lifts, 
legs and glutes engage, inhale, shoulders drop away from ears. Take a moment to just move your head around and squeeze your shoulder blades, activate them. And then exhale, roll back down dog. Take a big breath in and take a full breath out. Pause here for three full breaths. Just open the backs of the legs. Explore the low belly connection. Maybe a little wiggle around. See what feels good in your body. One last big breath in and a full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach on out, flat back, lift and lengthen. Take your hands right at your hip creases in little fists and let's fold and bow over those fists, kind of rolling your fists up toward your shoulders. So you're inviting a little lift for the low belly. You can walk your fingertips in all the way towards your pubic bone. Just finding this place in your body that's sometimes hard to feel or engage with. This also might give you lots more space for the low back. Hmm. And let your head shake out. Ah, you might bend your knees a little bit or a lot. You might find you can walk your hands even deeper under there. <clears throat> find all these little nooks and crannies that kind of become invisible in our bodies. Re-engaging with the invisibles. Release the hands. Give your head and hair a nice little pull. Uh, perhaps massage around the neck or the jaw or the shoulders or the face or all the above. The temples around the bridge of the nose. Ah. Make any sighs or sounds that feel helpful and delightful. Take one more breath in and then let your hands drop on down to the ground to release the shoulders. Bend your knees and round your way up to standing one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, give a circle out for those shoulders and let your body dance a little. Hips, low back, shoulders, chest, head, elbows, wrists, hands, little maybe even movement through the legs and feet. And then reach your arms out into a wide T and lift your pinky fingers and drop your thumbs, palms face up, low belly engaged, heels, balls of feet grounding on the ground. Energy down, energy up. Pinkies lift, thumbs drop down. Arms extend and just let your head move a little bit. Let your fingertips drop down and open the inner wrists. Expand from your heart right up through those inner wrists. And then drop your fingertips down and open the backs of the wrists. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Deep low belly engagement connection. And then have a little dance with the arms leading the way. Let your torso, your chest, your rib cage, your hips, maybe even your legs and your head. Notice what's moving, notice maybe what's not moving. Launch your arms to the sky, big breath upward, still rooted through the ground. Walk your fingertips along the ceiling, lift high from the deep low belly all the way up through those fingertips, inhale. How far can you go? Exhale, draw your hands right through the center line of your body, pausing at your heart. Take a moment to check in, to form an intention from this place of a little more awareness, a little more movement. Celebrate your freedom through your breath, through these movements, through this time. And let's flow the arms high, release it all, inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward and down, let it all go. Ha. Inhale, reach out long from your low belly lifting, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step back strong, high plank. Chaturanga, low push up, puff. Inhale, up dog, open the collarbones, thighs engaged, glutes engaged. Heart open wide, shoulder blades squeeze behind you. 
Exhale, let's pull back down, down dog. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. And let's step forward, warrior one. Right foot steps, left foot spins flat. Find your height and your depth. Deep in through the hips, spread through the back leg. Lift high through the heart, inhale. Find a fullness of your moment. And then exhale, we'll swing wide, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior walk, your fingertips along the ceiling, follow it with your eyes. And exhale, we'll release high plank. Chaturanga, a little push up. Inhale, up dog. Flow it on back, exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts to the sky, breath in. Step forward, warrior one, left foot steps, right foot spins flat, ground through the legs, rise through the heart. Sink into the earth and lift out of the earth. Find your breath in the spaces between. And we'll swing wide, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, walk your fingertips along the ceiling, follow with your eyes. Open the right side of your chest, by the way. Exhale, let's flow out of it, high. Push up, low push up, low belly. Do you have a connection to it? Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a squeeze of the belly out. We're gonna take some hops. So ground through the hands, bend the knees and hop. Just lift your feet off the ground and see if you can supercharge this from your low belly, subtle. Hop all the way to the front of your mat. Any way you wanna get there. Re-engage that low belly. If the touch helped, lift and pull up. Inhale. Exhale, bow, fold. Roll your way up to standing, bend your knees, reach your arms high. Lift from the low belly, walk your fingertips along the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward and down, let it go. Ah. Reach out from the low belly, back through the tailbone, forward through the crown of the head. Exhale, step or jump at high plank. Chaturanga, low push up. Belly strong there. Inhale, up dog, easy with the head. Move it around a little bit. Look around you. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg flows up to the sky, big breath in. Let's step forward, warrior one. Right foot steps, left foot spins flat. Rise the fingertips up. Exhale wide, warrior two. Dip deep through the hips. Walk those right fingertips along the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, side angle lunge, right elbow to right thigh. Left arm extends long over ear. If you like, this is low belly work. Unweight that right arm, parallel the arms. Draw in through the low belly. Maybe the right hand lands deeper or comes back to the thigh or block. Exhale, wrap your top arm around your back. See if you can keep that connection and engagement from the low belly, turning, spinning. Maybe that's a new sensation for you. Spin through the ribs and the heart, through the gaze. Deep in and through your legs, take a breath. Feel the fullness of this moment. And let's return to warrior two. Give your head and shoulders a little movement. Inhale, reverse your warrior, feel your strength. And exhale, let's release it, high plank. Shut your on the low push up, elbows close into the body, low belly engaged. Inhale, your version of a back bend heart open and strong. Exhale, down dog, pull it back. Take a breath in and a nice sigh out. We'll take our hops to the front of the mat. See if you can power it from your low belly. Bend your knees and any amount, lift your feet, your, lay your feet off the ground. Maybe it's an inch or two. Maybe you just take one hop. You're gonna find yourself to the front of the mat. And again, if the hands helped, to find those deep low belly. Maybe you feel like, oh, I'm really weak there. I don't have much going on there. That's all important information. And bow over those hands if they're there. Ah, take some real uh, engaged breaths so you feel how your belly moves when you breathe. 
Can you squeeze it in on that tail? Let's roll our way up to standing. Walk your fingertips along the ceiling. Lift from the low belly, the low back. Open up, inhale. Exhale, fold, bow, second side. Lengthen out, long, flat back. Inhale, step or jump, high plank. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale to up dog. Slow it back down, dog. Right leg flows to the sky and hand, uh, sorry, left leg that is, flows to the sky, left foot up. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Rise, rise, rise. Sink in through the hips, lift through the heart and the fingertips. Exhale, open wide, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, big breath in. Left elbow to left thigh, right arm over right ear. Spread through the back leg and go ahead if you're able, unweight the left elbow off of the left thigh. Engage that low belly right away or any part of your belly that you can feel. And then lower that left arm back down, maybe back to the, to the thigh or down deeper, shin or block. Right arm wraps around the back. And whatever you felt as you uh, unweighted the left arm, see if you can harness that to spin you up. Left knee opens toward pinky toe, belly spins actively away and up toward the right. Take a breath, feel the fullness of the moment, and we will release. Step it back strong, high plank. Low belly work, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, open, up dog, let the head move and relax. Pause here to just roll side to side. Gaze past each shoulder. Kind of rock a little bit onto the outer hip, each one. Meet me back in the middle, inhale. Exhale, find your way back, downward facing dog. Head nods yes and shakes out no. Power up that low belly and take a few hops. Maybe it's five hops, or maybe it's a single hop all the way up to the front of your mat. Really supercharging from the deep low belly to get there. Find your way. If you need to step, that's fine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Meet me in a flat back, and we're going to take some Kapalabhati breaths. Walk your feet a little wider, hands can be on blocks. And we're gonna take the deep breath where it's a sharp exhale and the belly draws in sharply. So you're in a flat back position, hands are on blocks or floor. Crown of head is lengthening forward, tailbone back. And on exhale, there's a, a deep, sharp draw in through the low belly, through all the belly. See if you can find it. And the inhale comes in naturally. We'll take that for about 10 seconds. So you do as many as you want. It could be slow or fast. See if you can close your mouth and have a sharp exhale out the nose. And a really sharp squeeze of the belly in. Another five seconds. Long spine, last breath, full bow, let it go. Take your hands to the hair, the head, give a little tug, deep forward bend. Toe heel your feet together, bend your knees, Utkatasana, squeeze your inner thighs together, let that engage your pelvic floor, tailbone lengthens back, arms rise high, big breath in here. Exhale, hands to the heart, and we spin left elbow past right thigh. So dip those hips deep, swivel the knees to the left, and let your heart open up to the right. Take a big breath. Unweight the left foot, staying strong on the right foot. Step your left foot back. Keep spinning left elbow past right thigh for three. Squeeze the belly in and spin two. See if you can feel that churning happening. One more breath. Hands come down. We'll walk the hands over to the left side of the mat. Feet are very wide and toes are in, heels are out. Find that flat back. Kapalabhati breaths here for 10 seconds. 
a sharp exhale to squeeze that belly in and up. A sharp exhale out the nose. Five, four, three, two, last one. Legs are strong, head bows, fold. Relax and release that head. Again, if you want your hands to come to that head or shoulders or some touch, that might feel great. Maybe a pull of the hair. Pause here for a few breaths. See if you can connect to your low belly, your low back, your pelvic floor. Last couple breaths. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little wag to the tail on that last one. Find your flat back. Walk yourself around to the front of your mat. Step your left foot forward to meet your right and dip your hips, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, squeeze your inner thighs, drop your hips and lift your pinky fingers up. Shoulders drop, low belly is strong here. Exhale the hands to the heart and roll your right elbow past your left thigh. Elbow presses into thigh, thigh presses into elbow. Hands draw toward the heart and the heart lifts up toward those thumbs. Belly squeezes in so you feel a churning, a spinning. Left foot stays strong, right foot on weights and steps way back. You're in a lunge now and you're twisting and opening and turning. Heart is high. Feel the belly getting squeezed and churning. One more breath. And we'll unfold and walk our way over to the side. This time the right side of the mat. Find your flat back and we'll do our Kapalabhatis for 10 seconds. So a strong exhale. It's a real sharp breathing in. Really working the belly, the diaphragm and that deep low belly. Five more seconds. One last breath in. Shoulders draw away from ears, head moves. Bow it out, fold in. Hands might come to head or hair for some nice release. Mm. Be kind to your body. And find the new places, find the places that feel like, oh, I've never even thought about that part of my body. This is a really powerful tool of yoga. Take another breath. Flat back, inhale. Walk your way around to the front. This time, step your left foot back to meet your right and we'll lower gently, slowly, all the way down to the belly. And just pause here. And if any movements need to happen, please take them. You could windshield wiper your legs side to side. You might have a newfound appreciation for your belly and or your low back. So just go easy. Take a little rest. When you're ready to rest, see if you can um, lengthen out your low back. You might even use your hands to help you with that. And you could also use the front of the body. So as the front body engages, the low back gets to release. Just see if you can notice that. And let your hips sway from one side to the other. You could windshield wiper the legs along with it, but see if you can just kind of loosen up the waistline and the lumbar spine. Mm. And then press your pubic bone down into the ground and draw your low belly up. So there's, it, you can almost imagine a little fiery ball in your deep low belly. Legs are long, arms reach back behind you, chest lifts, feet still pressing down, hands pressing into the mat, shoulder blades squeeze together, then let your legs lift and feel the squeeze of the glutes and strength of the legs. Let your head look side to side. Chin is tucked toward chest, shoulder blades squeezing together. Arms reach out to the side and lift a little higher, little pulses with your arms up for five, four, three, 
two, arms reach forward just for a couple breaths. If you can, pulse up with those arms like you're hitchhiking up toward the heavens. Five, four, three, two, and release on down. Let's press back to child pose. <sighs> Wag that tail. Spread your shoulder blades. Let your head roll side to side. And just let your belly go. Lots of activity through the core, so just let it go. We'll come back to it. Regulate your breath. Feel the third eye pressing into the mat. Let's walk the hands over to the left side of the mat and give a nice stretch. And draw your shoulder blade, your right shoulder blade down your back. Open up the rib spaces between the ribs and the waist and the hip. Maybe a little movement feels good. Take one more breath. And let's walk on over to the other side. Draw your left shoulder down your back. Open up rib spaces, waistline, outer left hip. Last breath. Mm. And come on up onto all fours. Find a few cats and cows, just releasing through all the levels of your spine. Find movement. Find connection. Find a dance. Find a release. Lift yourself up into downward facing dog. Let's reach the right leg high to the sky. Pull back through each heel. Press forward through each palm and step your right foot to your left wrist. Sink down through your hips, lift high through your heart. Let your jaw release and your head, maybe a nice circle. Take a moment, find stillness, and then bow fold into pigeon pose. You might have supports under the front of your body. You might have really enjoyed all the engagement through the low belly. So if that feels interesting and good to you, engage that deep low belly. Imagine your inner thighs squeezing together here gently. Lengthen out through your low back. Take another breath. Relax through the head, the shoulders, the jaw. Ah. Find the fullness of this moment. And we'll rise. Keep that right knee bent and let's swing the left leg up and around and hug your right knee, your left knee rather with your right arm and get that sense of lift as well as grounding through the lower body, through the upper body. Pause here in full length. Lift your left arm high to the sky and rainbow your left arm around your back. Spin, spin, spin. Breathe and spin and twist. And let's let that head explore. You might start with a nod, yes, and a no. Ah, you might make some sound out through an open mouth, a released jaw, a little wiggle to the jaw. Still finding length and twist for three. See if you can engage that deep belly to help you twist too. One more breath, inhale. And unwind, walk your hands around to the right and bow in. Come down on your forearms and drop your head. Shake it out a little bit, nice and gently. We'll find our way back to down dog. So unwind, step back. You might pull through a vinyasa, you might not. Give your head a, a yes and a no. Launch your left heel up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Bend the knee, roll open. And we'll step left foot to right wrist. Dip your hips deep, lift your heart high. Take a moment, 
Let your head relax. Let your spine open and engage. Let your breath feel full and deep in your body. And when you're ready, full bow, let go, surrender. Uh -huh. What are you letting go of these days? Spring is a wonderful time to lighten things up and to release and let go. Find breath. Find release. Take a few more breaths. Last breath in. Big breath out. Rise, rise, rise on up. Keep your left knee bent and let's swing the right leg up and around and take your left arm around that right bent knee and find your length first. The right arm rising to the sky can help you with the height up, the squeeze of the belly in as you rainbow right arm around the back and twist. Spin through the belly, spin through the ribs, spin through the heart and let your head find its movements. Yes, no, and everything in between. You might take a 360 or look around your room. We'll see what feels good to release that neck. Shoulders drop, chest is majestic. Belly is part of the movement. Draw it in and engage it. Last breath, feel the fullness. And unwind, walk your hands around to the left. Bow down, come on your forearms, stretch. The link feels so good. Last breath or two. Mm. Rise your way up. And let's extend both legs forward. Feeling the centers of your kneecaps lifting right straight up to the sky. Same with the five toes. Hands come down by the hips. Get long through the legs and the torso. Arms now rise to the sky. Feel yourself long, strong. Engage that deep low belly as you reach the tailbone back and the chest forward. Hands reach for somewhere along the legs, or you can take a strap around the feet and hands come around the, the strap. Draw the belly in and get longer as you bow. Draw the belly in, almost hollowing out the front body to lengthen deep the back body. Crown of head reaches forward, tailbone like an arrow point back behind you. Three full breaths. Each exhale surrendering you a little deeper. Last breath. Gently rise, nice and easy. Bend your knees and one vertebra at a time, roll onto your back. Pausing slowly, working the core to bring you down to your back. And anything you need, um, I recommend some little arches and rounds through the spine. <sighs> We're gonna hug the right knee into the chest and extend the left leg long on the ground and launch the right heel up to the sky. And your right hand could take the foot or you could use a strap around the foot. This is just to re-extend and lengthen the low back. Take uh, your hand to your outer right hip and just invite that outer right hip to get longer from waist to outer hip. Mm. Notice your spine and just invite it to get longer. And then bend that right knee for a half happy baby. So you can take the sole or the sole of the foot or somewhere along the crease of the knee or the shin. You might extend that right leg out to the right or keep it bent. 
Aerate your body here in this wide open space. And we'll hug both knees into the chest and just take a moment to lengthen the back. Keep your left knee hugged in and lengthen your right leg long on the ground. And when you're ready, launch your left heel up to the sky. Again, you could hold your big toe or your foot or use a strap or just touch anywhere along that left leg. The right heel is reaching out as if it were the deep base of your spine. So imagine your spine was as long as your leg. And if you tuck your chin just a little bit, imagine the crown of the head reaching in opposition. So again, we're moving in those two directions. Outer left hip gets some space. Maybe the hand invites that. Left knee bends in your own timing for a half happy baby. And you can use a strap or take hold of the sole of the foot, crease of the knee, get long through the right side. Maybe the left leg extends and opens out to the left, only if that feels good for you. Wherever you are, just open up all the windows of your body. Oh, last breath. And hug the knees into the chest or any last movement that your body wants to make before we rest in Shavasana. So be sure that your body feels balanced, done a lot of deeper in internal work today. So give yourself support, um, maybe something under your knees, something over your eyes. Check in with how you feel as you settle in for final relaxation, Shavasana pose. A place to integrate all of this good work a place to deeply rest and to learn how to rest in a really short amount of time. So this is, this is just a, a wonderful skill to develop. Just a little mini micro nap. The surrender, the deep surrender. And the willingness to let go and just let what, what just uh, transpired kind of become part of you. So you gain some new skills and awarenesses. And it's in the resting and not doing. That we're able to really take it in. Shavasana. Rest here and I will hold the space and call you out when the time is right. A few moments of rest. We'll take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Any stretches or a little gentle movement through the head or any part of the body. Maybe a touch here or there that feels really soothing and connective. Roll onto your side, and when you're ready, have a seat up. And if it felt nice, you can take the breath with the hands. So on inhale, the palms face up. 
and there's energy rising. And on exhale, the palms go down and there's a coffee plunger feeling down, down, down as you rise. So see if you can have both rooting and rising happening all at once. Space. Take your hands this time to, um, to little fists right at the um, groin, right at the deep belly level. And we'll just, we'll just hug in there and press in there. And just this, uh, this time we'll gently bow over the hands. Uh, and see how far you can surrender. You might not go very far, but this is just a reminder as you rise back up to send good energy to this deep low belly part of your body. We often have our hands at our hearts at the end, but here, bring yourself here to your root and your creative watery space. And just honor the history of that place and space and honor its future. And let it integrate with all of you, all of who you are. We'll walk our hands all the way up between the brows to the third eye center. And from that deep belly, connect to the space between the brows, becoming open and light. We'll bow to one another from here. Namaste.